Partida dintre Corona Brașov și Mișcolț a fost deschisă simbolic de campionul național la raliu, Vali Porciștian. A urmat un meci cu evoluții surprinzătoare de scor, cu multă tensiune și un final dramatic soldat cu înfrângerea brașovenilor. În prima repriză a întâlnirii, lupii au deschis scorul prin Martin Saluga, fapt ce putea fi interpretat un început de meci cu dreptul. A urmat o repriză a doua nebună, în care maghiarii au egalat scorul, Kevin Wears a reușit pe un contraatac să aducă lupii în avantaj, apoi Mișcolț a marcat două goluri într-un minut și a preluat conducerea pe tabela de marcaj. În a treia repriză a început recitalul lui Jolt Molnar. În prima fază, Brașoveanul a egalat scorul. Maghiarii au preluat din nou conducerea cu doar două minute înainte de final. Antrenorul Greg Lindvist a cerut un timeout, însă a fost refuzat de arbitri. Suedezul a decis să riște și l-a retras pe polții din poartă și a introdus un jucător pe gheață. Superioritatea numerică din atac a dat roade, iar Molnar a reușit egalarea cu doar 17 secunde înainte de încheierea reprizei. În prelungiri, fiecare echipă a încercat să se surprindă pe contraatac, însă nu s-a mai marcat nimic. Au urmat două serii de penaltiuri în care oaspeții au ratat mai puțin. La Corona, cel care a ratat ultimul a fost Jolt Molnar, dar asta după ce marcase alte două penaltiuri. Lupii au câștigat astfel un punct cu dificultate și se mențin pe primul loc în clasament, având două meciuri jucate în plus față de a doua clasată, Dab Dokle. Ah, I mean, obviously any game you go into, you, you, you expect to win, and that's the, the mindset we came in with. I thought, uh, you know, we had a tough one on on Friday night where, you know, we kind of controlled the play for the most part and weren't, a, weren't able to capitalize on our chances. And, you know, it was nice to see some guys get rewarded tonight with some, you know, some goals who had been a little snake bitten around the net. And, you know, obviously we're, we're very happy to, to, you know, come away with two points tonight. How do you see this league mold in this year? It's better than the last year. Uh, obviously, it's my first year here, so I, you know, don't really have a lot to compare it to. I know this, you know, after tonight, we've now played everybody in the league, and it's, I mean, it's going to be competitive. Everybody's, you know, there's no easy games, that's for sure. And, you know, I, again, we we've been in some tight battles and have been fortunate to come out, you know, on the winning end of a few of them. And, you know, that's how it's going to go. You're going to have to grind and, and work for your points this year. It's a big disappointment. Like, uh, uh, it's a Miskos is uh, they they skating hard, they putting pressure hard. But I think like in in especially in the second period, the first 10, 12 minutes, we have to finish off the game. We have like five, six hundred percent chances we don't score on. I mean the the goalie, what did he, he and Miskos played in hobby league last year or where he played? I, I had him for three years ago, like for a week. Um, we still struggling major to to score on big chances. Uh, we have enough chances to win a game like this. Uh, but like it's always, uh, the goals you don't score, you get scored on. And uh, we did make too many mistakes, but still we are far away from the hockey we should play. We, there is too much, too much um, nerves. There is a lot of uh, throwing the puck away to icing instead of cool down and try to play the hockey. Um, I'm happy for Molnar Schultz that he stepped up and scored the two goals tonight. Um, And then we have a, uh, the same here again, like Kevin scores in the PK defenseman. There is too many forwards still who, who produce too little right now. And, and um, it's, 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 it is every game, uh, every game 
is a battle this year. There, like I said it from the first date, I say it after the tenth game, there is no easy games. And, uh, but to give up two points um, to miss goals at home ice, that is very, very bad. I'm very, 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 uh, I'm upset the way that we can't finish off the game from of, this, of the quality of the forwards we have especially. Okay, that we have to go around with five defensemen tonight and then four defensemen when you are get a ten. And, but that's life. It's uh, 10 or 46 or 48 games we play in the regular season, so we have a, we still have a lot of work for us. You started strong the third period, then something happened. <laughs> Came the two, happened. two minutes, two minutes, and everything is. Yeah, the, the, we know we know the story about the the guys in black and white. I don't remember the names, but um, they. Um, they they have some funny calls. I like like before before Misko scored a goal, there was there, there were six men for at least thirty seconds. But then we get a penalty. Uh, like, but it doesn't matter. It's like we uh, we can't every game after talk about the refs. The refs uh, uh, they have their life. We we have to focus on our job and and like we have to score goals. We have a lot of chances where we have to score. Even Miskos have chances where Paul make good saves, but. I think, in the sec especially in the second period, we 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 had like three, four, like where I think even my grandmother should score. Well, probably not. She's dead, but uh, at least me. <laughs> but it's 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 uh, we struggling. Like we like I said before, I said we with the season started, we said like every game gonna be a nine-seven game because we have uh, great forwards and uh, not the best defensemen. <laughs> right now, I'm happy every game where we can score a couple of goals. So. That's life. Um, yes, to more tomorrow to start practice again and uh, get ready for the weekend next weekend in Hungary. With the, it's gonna be a tough weekend. We have going to dub. We have missed calls and uh, and uh, one more Ferenc Varos or Ute, Ute. Ute. So life goes on. One point behind in the graphic, no? Yeah, that's uh, that sucks. Uh, we shouldn't uh, we, we shouldn't be in that position. Uh, even if we are, uh, but the, like. Like I said, we need uh, probably 60 points to to uh, to reach the playoff in Molde or 50 maybe. So we are still we are still we are not far away from our from our from our calculation, but we can't give up points at home ice. That is that is not good.